so here we are again showing you how to program simple games using this BBC micro bit this might be the last one on the um, Microsoft code editor because I'm getting kind of intrigued with that Python anyway game today um, another simple game what I'm going to do is I'm going to program the start of it as always and then hopefully you guys can put in the um, the extra bits to give it all the flow but I'll get you going so that you guys can you know take your development further and you know, feel good about yourself when you actually build something um, for yourself um, just as a quick side note with all that none of my games I build are, are fully complete because I'm trying to keep it under five minutes and I've gone and wasted 48 seconds talking about it so here we go let's get started simple game where cars move out the way so let's start by uh, creating a let's create a new player so let's set variable player so we've got a player uh, we're going to need a car so let's set all this straight up um, I've got an idea right now before we even start, but I'm gonna make an item called speed. So um, this is gonna be a player, this is gonna be a car, this is gonna be the speed. We're gonna set the speed right now to about 200 I reckon, because that's a good wait time in the pause menu. So let's get hold of this. Let's put this to 200. Um, set the player. Set the player to down here somewhere. So, as always, see, I have to remember this every single week because I kind of do it off the top of my head. So, if I make some mistakes, feel free to just say, look, you could have done this better by. I'm just kind of thinking quickly without having a plan. And it's, it's not the greatest way to do it, but, you know, it keeps it. Um, keeps you learning, doesn't it? Keeps you thinking about things. And so, set the car to oh no we don't want to set the we want to set the player to the to that and then we want to set the car to a random so um create sprite at and then let's random random between no and four on the x and y we'll have on the zero right so then we want a while loop so I'll just keep doing this until you break out of it and because I want the car to come from the bottom I've done this in the past where I just repeat the step four times so we're going to change the Y of the car so Y of car by and it's going upwards so keep that up one and then we want to pause because it otherwise it'll just go really quickly so every time it does it, it just waits so let's pause that but let's set it to this speed you'll see why in a minute I've just had an idea as I hit and record for this this is a just taking it a little bit further than just some game where they're falling down right so I think that'll do it so it's going to be set to 200 milliseconds right um, next bit so if the car touches the player we want game over so if where is my uh, logic if so if so when it's done that four times it's going to come out of here and it's going to go if player is touching car is that in here ah there it is so if car is touching player You want, uh, let's just use a straight up game over to make this really quick, or make it quicker. I think this one, this video is going to go over five minutes to be honest. It's a bit of a complicated game this, really. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Um, oh no, we might need an else actually. So, uh, 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 else, is that how you do it? So if, if the car is touching the player, it's going to be game over. Otherwise, we want to set the put car back to the top of the screen so set x of and set y of oops we need set not change oh 
Oh. No, we don't want that. And then uh, the Y is going to be zero. Next is going to be a pick a random between not and four. Right. So when that start, starts, let's see if that runs. Yeah. There you go. And we want to move our. Oh. I didn't know it did that. Oh, cool. Right. Score? No. Why is it scoring me? Alright, whatever. Uh, so we'll keep that for that right now. So we've got to move the, the car. So import on A button. Duplicate because on B button. Let's um, just change the X of the player. By press the A on which is that one that's got to go minus one and then we can copy all that duplicate change the X of the player by one and then hopefully what we get is a game where we can move out the way if it hits me what does it do let's see what it does I like that is that because is that being invoked by that See, I've never played around with this stuff before. This is all new to me. I don't really I look in depth into this. Anyway, um, so that's looking all right. So we've got a game where we actually die if something hits us. So this is the idea I just thought of just as I press record. Let's make the car go faster every every iteration of it. So when if we're not touching the player, we're going to increase the score. So how would we do that? Is there a change score in here? There it is. So we'll change the score by one. And we will change this speed here to make it go faster. So let's go into variables. Change speed by. Now we'll put it to 10 to begin with. But this is going to go really fast after three or four misses. It's going to be it's going to be super quick. Now is that all we want? Let's test it. I oh, don't got to get over there quick enough now to test it out. Whoa, what the hell's that? Why does it do that? I don't know, it's lighting up like crazy though, it's cool. Whoa. I don't know why it's blowing up like that. Oh, this should be minus 10, by the way. What am I doing? I was wondering why it wasn't getting any faster. Oh, God. There you go. You can see it's getting fast now. Jesus. Oh, but it, then it hit me. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let's keep that at a normal level. Let's put it at 2 or something. I don't know why it's um, flashing a whole screen like that. If somebody can tell me why it's doing that, that'll be, um, that'll be a help. So let's. Um, how would we see a score? Oh no, score will show you. I don't know why it does this automatically. That's that's cool, that. But what if you wanted to see the score while you were playing it? Let's see if we can. This will work. Duplicate. If you press both the buttons at once, show your score. See if that works. Yeah, it does. It shows you score quickly. If you can see, it just flicks up really quick. Because you don't really want it to. Um, you really don't want it to um, get in your way. You're playing it if you like. You're just wondering. But if it's getting faster and faster and faster, you're not gonna. You're not gonna um, last too long. I shouldn't think. Um. Well, there we go. Yeah, um, easy, easy video for once. About ten minutes long, I suppose, uh, to make a 
uh, car coming from the top. If you want to develop this game a little bit further, try and get it so that the zero column and the four column, they like go um, like like it's like it's a road, you know, and make it go bright, dimmer, 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 and have the dimmer light like going down, like you. Do you know if you if you get what I mean, like a, a light strobe, if you if you get me, that'd be a really good idea. Um, but anyway, to keep the videos to a reasonable time to follow, um, a quick game to dodge the okay. car. I don't know why it's doing that full screen wipeout thing. I don't know. But oh, there you go. What, what do we get? It's really difficult doing it on the um, on the emulator. Score that I get. Mm, 12, see if you can beat 12. Anyway, thanks for watching.